Hey everybody, I'm Jeff Kasouf here with your U.S. Women's Soccer Update. Hope Solo in the news again. She's been suspended by U.S. Soccer for 30 days after being in the car that was pulled over her husband, Jeremy Stevens, driving, uh, arrested for driving under the influence, and Solo reportedly acting belligerent in the passenger seat. Uh, was not arrested, no legal implications here, but obviously adds to the history that uh, the very recent history, too, that Hope Solo has been going through uh, with her status for the World Cup up in the air. So U.S. Soccer made the announcement, suspending her for 30 days. And the most interesting part of this, obviously, or <laughs> several interesting parts, unfortunately for her, uh, she's eligible for reinstatement after this. So she's not automatically back on the team after 30 days, which is an important fact to keep in mind here. Uh, she could end up being out longer. Uh, she has to go through a review process to prove that uh, she's changing her ways. We don't quite know what that review process is. So 30 days from now, uh, we'll find out if she's, she's ready to be accepted back into the team. That's Coach Jill Ellis and, and presumably some more folks from U.S. Soccer, including Sunil Gulati. Uh, the details, obviously, are, as they continue to unfold, uh, a bit more damning. Um, for both her and certainly for Stevens, who's facing the, the legal implications here, uh, they were driving, Stevens was driving a U.S. soccer van, uh, which made this story that much more wild. Um, they were out using the van. You know, it's, it's something that can be used uh, by players is what U.S. soccer tells me. It was an off day, so sometimes players use these vans that they, they take to practice for dinner or wherever they, you know, whatever they need to do. So, Driving a U.S. soccer van, U.S. soccer says that they didn't find out about this until the TMZ report came out. So a lot of things here that are working against Solo. What's it all mean for the U.S. team and for Solo? Well, again, for Solo, this could be trouble for her in terms of the World Cup. There's no indication that she'll be back after these 30 days. And, and obviously, she has to prove herself as, as having changed or, or having really learned from this lesson, which... This all happened a week after she had just had two charges of domestic violence assault dismissed. Uh, this was over a six-month process here that she went through where she was up in the air for the World Cup. She was even facing jail time. And a week after having these charges dismissed, saying that she was so happy that this was behind her, it was the hardest time in her life, she's opened the door again, perhaps even worse so, just from the fact of you know, not learning from this that she could miss the World Cup if they, don't, if they don't feel that it's worth the distraction, if Jill Ellis doesn't feel she's worth the distraction. Um, what's that mean for the U.S.? Well, there's a lot of inexperience in terms of the international level and the highest level behind Solo. You have Ashlyn Harris with only four caps, Alyssa Nair with only one cap, and then Nicole Barnhart, the usual number two, who didn't even play in 2014 for the U.S. due to lingering injuries, uh, bad timing of those injuries coming into camp. So the biggest stat to me that stands out, Hope Solo played every minute of the 2012 Olympics, the 2011 World Cup, and the 2008 Olympics. The last player to play a major international event in net for the U.S. was Brianna Scurry in 2007. And we all know Brianna Scurry is long retired. So uh, Ashlyn Harris, Alyssa Nair, Nicole Barnhart, who's it going to be for this game against France and this game against England that's coming up in early February? We'll find out. And That'll be decent experience against good teams, but it's not World Cup experience, it's not Olympic experience, and it could leave the United States with a very big hole to fill should Solo not go to the World Cup, which at this point has to be viewed as a very real possibility.